Hi, it's me, Tara Malik. I'm from OurGamers.co.uk and we are at EGX 2017 in Birmingham and I'm joined by the absolutely amazing Al. Hi, Al. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. It's been a good show. And obviously we're on day three. How are the energy levels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, all, we're all fueled up. Absolutely coffee filled. <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to keep going. I know that feeling. Right, so obviously we're going to be talking about the Town of Light. Just give us an idea what that's all about. Sure, so the Town of Light is a, is a psychological adventure story which has its grounding in reality. So the, the facility that you explore during the Town of Light is a real psychiatric asylum in Tuscany, Italy. It was, uh, it was open from the early 1900s through to the 1970s when it was outlawed by the Italian government. And as you explore the, uh, the asylum as it's been recreated in the present day, you're, you're seeing the world through the eyes of Rene, someone who at 16 years old was committed to the asylum in the 1930s after she was a course of public scandal. As you explore the asylum, you'll find different evidence relating to her, relating to her, her time there. And, and really what you're trying to do is, is piece together the truth and understand why she was there to start off with, and, and, and what happened to her ultimately uh, and discover what happened to her while she was there. So how long did it take to create this? Because I know there's been a lot of passion in the research and everything behind creating this game. How long did it take? Sure, so the, the studio that created this game is a studio called LKA and their studio head, Luca Dalco, um, this was a passion project for him. So he actually started researching for the project back in 2012. Um, he wanted to tell a story about mental health so he he started to research and found they're, they're based in the region in Tuscany and they found this facility was, was local to them and, and it's a huge facility that held over 5,000 people at its peak and, and actually operated like a small town. They ran all their trades on site, they had their own currency on site where the patients would uh, would go out and work and they would earn for the day and then they would be able to buy luxury items like cigarettes uh, or a glass of wine. Um, the, the research that went into the game was absolutely extensive and the character is a, is a composite of the stories of patients and, and uh, from staff accounts as well from people that worked in the asylum. Um, it took around three years to get to early access. Uh, it was a Steam Greenlight project and we're now bringing it to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and that launched in June this year. One of the main things about this is just bringing to light mental health. Um, so why exactly did you feel it necessary to bring this sort of thing forward? I think there are many untold stories throughout human history and I think lots of people focus on the big, you know, grand histories. Uh, you know, uh, some of the sort of AAA titles are good examples. They'll go back to the French Revolution, uh, you know, big cataclysmic events in history. And actually, I think that there, there's a, there's an incredible story to be told just on an individual human level. And you know, in one way or another, mental health has touched all of our lives. I mean, as a as a gamer, I got into gaming as as something that that was a refuge for me and somewhere that I could go. And I think. That's a story which is shared by many gamers. And the, uh, the studio head, he wanted to tell a story about mental health. He wanted to, to start that conversation. And I think this game does that really, really well. Absolutely. And as you say, mental health, it is something now that we're all becoming a bit more open to, talking a bit more about. This is obviously a good way of doing that. And it is something that's a little bit closer to home. As you said, you know, one way or another, we're bound to know someone or have experienced something like that ourselves. Um, and any final thoughts regarding this game? Uh, it's, it's an amazing game. If you, it, it, it's 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 not a it's not a horror game in the conventional sense. I, I, there are no jump scares. It's it's an experience. It, it's horrific because what these people went through in this type of facility was were, were terrible ordeals. Um, so it's not for the faint of hearted, but it's an experience that will stick with you well long after you've played it. And it's a nice sort of history lesson and insight into what it was like back then as well, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, as I said before, many, many 
months and years of research went into the game. As you explore the asylum, you'll you'll even find documents which are reconstructions of the original documents that were that were used and, and can be seen in the museum at Volterra where this asylum is. So it, it it really does go into it goes into the care of patients. It goes into safeguarding. It goes into um, the the treatment in terms of medical procedures that were gone through in the 1930s and 1940s and it tries to balance all of this because within the historical context we need to understand that there were there were people that did wrong in these situations but there were many many people that always had the patient's best interests at heart and always did what they thought was right and the game tries to tries to balance that and let you make your own mind up whether you want to see those people in a sort of vilified light or whether you want to understand the people that were there and the, and the ones that were doing the right thing. And just to finalise, obviously you said the game is out already and what platforms? So the game is out now on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Steam. And is there a special edition as well? There is a collector's edition. If you want to find out more, the collector's edition has a DVD full of documentaries about the asylum, about the making of the game, and a stunning 100-page art book as well, which has um, art from the game as well as photographs of the real asylum and from the museum there as well. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Alan. Hope you have a great last few days here at the Expo. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye.